It's time for a fish room update, January 2017. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, Brian here again coming at you in the new year. I uh, wanted to squeeze in a uh, January fish room update before the end of the month comes. Been pretty busy and been sick. Um, had uh, since Christmas Day, I've been sick two different times with severe colds, and, and now I'm actually recovering from an ear infection. Haven't had one of those since I was a little kid that I know of. But anyway, um, and then I was out on vacation for a little over a week, so um, it's just been a busy month and uh, not not being able to do a whole lot. But anyway. <clears throat> We'll start here with uh, with my buddy Cheeto up in the office. He's still doing great. Thinking about trying to find him a girlfriend. So um, anybody that uh, knows of or has a, a nice female Midas that would be uh, a good size for him. And it's got to be proven to be a true Amphilophus citronellus. Um, um, in order for me to be interested in it, but uh, let me know if you if you if you have any leads or have anything you wanna wanna get rid of. Uh, the loaches are doing good in here, and um, so is this uh, this burker down here, bircher, biker, whatever you wanna call it. Um, yeah, so that tank's doing well. Always fun to see this guy. He's right up here in my office where I work, so. Hang out with him all day long during the work day. Uh, over here is the uh, planted shrimp tank. It's been doing a little better than usual. Um, the algae problems haven't been quite as bad. <clears throat> the carpet's in desperate need of a trim and it's started to come up in some places too so it's a little ragged but uh, the fissidens and the peacock moss are doing real good too. Uh, the shrimp seem to be doing well. I've seen some babies in there, um, which is always a good sign. Um, so we know they're breeding. So that's cool. So yeah, um, we'll go out next door here and take a look at the discus tank. This tank isn't in the best looking condition right now. I had an algae outbreak of this kind of green slimish type algae. Um, I came back from vacation and it was there and now I'm having some trouble getting rid of it but I'll get it under control um, with some water changes and maybe some reductions in light for a while and also probably some uh, well I always use Fosgard but I'll make sure I'm getting that changed out uh, the way I should be and uh, should take care of that <clears throat> the discus all seem to be doing well I um, haven't had any problems with them um, in quite some time, so that's good. Got a few cardinal tetras left in here. They seem to be chowing down on them. It's kind of a problem, but um, I may continue to get cardinals just knowing that I'll have to replace them every so often because I really like having a schooling fish in here, and, and for me, cardinals are just the ones I like the best. I know they're really common and everything, but, you know, it's just what I like, and... This tank's out in the living area here, so I want to have it uh, the way I like it. All right, we'll head downstairs here then and check out the basement tanks. I'm going to turn off the light, so maybe we don't get quite as bad a glare on some of these tanks. Um, well, we'll just start here, I guess. We got the flower horn, the Comfa 9.9. .9. He's doing well. Um, feel like I've noticed a little bit of growth with him. It's always hard to tell, um, especially when fish are slow growers. But he's been doing really good. Um, this guy, um, you know, I can't say enough good things about him. I just really like this fish. Um, you know, he's just really fun and not as active right now as he usually is, but it is what it is. Uh, down below here we've got... <coughs> Uh, one of my citronellus. He's doing good. Got the female still in there with him. No breeding signs of any type. And that's just fine. No big deal. But this guy is just bright, bright orange. Really sweet looking. Really glad I got this guy. 
And I like the way she looks too with the white, mostly white. Some nice vintage coloring on her too. Um, over here, this tank is empty right now. Um, up here are the six reddest, latest grow-outs that I've got. Let's see if we can't get them out of hiding right now. Feed them a little Southern Delight. I'm feed them some of this small cichlid here. Let's see if that gets them out. I don't know, this morning they were kind of a little freaked out and hiding. But this guy's the bigger one in the tank right now. I say guy, I don't know, I haven't sexed any of them yet, but thinking I might sell these guys off, I'm not sure. I just don't really have any tank space for when they get bigger. But it's been kind of fun to grow these out too, so I don't know. Still thinking about it. Head over here. Here's my new uh, sign that Dodie made for me. Really cool. Um, I just love it. It looks awesome. Gonna find a place on the wall to hang it. But yeah, um, Dodie is uh, one of the admins on uh, Aquatic Support uh, Community, um, and she's a great asset to the hobby. And she makes these really cool signs. So check her out. All right, the motas are doing good. We got a, a brand new spawn. When I was gone on vacation at the beginning of the month, three, let's see, yeah, at least three of my pairs spawned while I was gone. And I didn't notice that these guys had, because <laughs> the eggs were already gone by the time I got home, um, and she was just hiding the wigglers, I guess. And like a couple days ago, I came down here, and there was a cloud of fry around here, so. Anyway, there's quite a few of them. This is probably the biggest spawn that they've had since I've had this pair. Um, their spawns have always seemed to be a little bit smaller. I'm not sure why. They also clearly got into it because his tail is uh, is uh, nipped up really good. Um, but anyway, that'll grow back. Yeah, we just got so many tanks down here that the glare is hard to hard to deal with. Um, down below here, the Umbies. I sold them and shipped them off last weekend. So now I've got one of my uh, Hadiensis pairs in here. Here's the male. You can see the female sticking out of that tube over there. It's not gonna come out now, but so they'll get. Uh, this will be a nice, uh, nice tank for them. And then over here, the sequia. I'm thinking I may be getting rid of them soon. And I don't know. They're not doing it for me like they used to, but there's no rush. Um, I may keep them too, or I might put them in other tanks as diz as dithers. I've done that before with these and. They were in at the Redis latest, and they actually worked out really good in there. Uh, some shrimp tanks. I'll do a separate update on the shrimp tanks. Here's my uh, red magma. He's doing good also. His colors aren't as bright today as they usually are, but uh, he's still looking good. Still enjoying having this guy too. And then uh, the reddest latest tank is over here. Um, no spawning from them anytime recently. It's been, I think it's getting close to, I can't remember, I'm not even going to throw a date out there. Um, but I've got some Centrarchus in here with them. Mainly just uh, kind of as dithers. They were pretty chewed up when I got them, but um, some of them are starting to heal pretty good, so. And then the other Hadiensis pair actually did spawn when I was gone, and just like the Modas, um, 
the eggs had already hatched by the time I got home and I didn't realize that she was sitting on wigglers and then all of a sudden there's free swimmers. It was a pretty small spawn, but there are, you know, 20 or 30 in there all together probably. It was actually, I put my other Hadiensis pair in here before I left, not right before I left, but um, a few weeks, and uh, I, I feel that that's what got them to spawn because they started targeting that other pair and protecting them, you know, like ruling the tank type of a thing. Now the other pair, they pretty much only hide back in this area, and they did take a little bit of damage, but last time I saw them come out, they actually were healing up. Actually, here's one of them right here. Can't tell if that's the male or the female right now, but... So for the time being, I think I'll keep them in there, just to see if it helps them to get on a cycle where they, where they start to regularly spawn. And I'm not sure, I may pull these fry, put them in a grow out tank. I haven't decided on that yet. And then we've got uh, my Umbi pair. Here's Optimus, full of piss and vinegar, like always. And then Matrix over here. They actually did spawn, I think, since, I don't think, I think it was after my last update video. And it didn't take, um, a lot of the eggs didn't stick to the flower pot. And um, they didn't fungus over. But one day I came down and they were all gone. Um, one of the two of them had eaten the eggs before they hatched. So, but they've been showing some spawning behavior lately. A lot of head shaking and tail flapping and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens there. Um, and then down below is Orion, the Dovi. They spawned. Also, before I left, um, there was thousands of eggs in there. And as you can see, there's fry all over this tank. They, they don't, it's kind of weird. Um, they don't like kind of keep the fry together in one big cloud. The, the fry seem to just be all over the tank most of the time. But um, they're surviving, they're doing well. I pulled some and then I left the rest in here just to see the difference if, if they, I know when, when Mike had this pair, um, they, would, they were pretty good about letting their fry grow out. I mean, I remember seeing fry that were an inch or, or more that they were just letting grow out and didn't have any problems with. So, kind of hoping that that'll happen here. Kind of cool to have some smaller fry growing, uh, swimming around in this tank. But yeah, they're doing good. Always fun to get him to open up his mouth. <coughs> grumpy son of a bitch. Um, up here, and they're not out right now, so you probably aren't going to see them, but I do have a new Feste pair, and the female is just spectacular in coloration. Um, they were they were doing decent, and when I left, when I went on vacation and then came back, she did get nipped up a little bit. Um, if, if you're in the aquatic support community on Facebook, you may have seen a picture I put up the other day. They're back behind this pot here. Um, I'm kind of trying to look up. You might have just seen her poke her head up by that heater. But anyway, um, it's kind of weird. They hide, and then they're out a lot. And right now they're in a hiding phase again, but just yesterday they were swimming all over this tank and doing well, and I'm not sure what's going on with them, but some Red Devil Fry. Uh, the last Red Devil pair I had is now gone. This tank's empty, you're gonna get something else down there. So, that's kind of the tour right now. Um, you know, that's, I'll, I'll do a shrimp tank tour for those that uh, enjoy looking at my shrimp as well. Um, I'll do that on a separate video. But uh, yeah, I mean, thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. I try to put regular, you know, uh, update videos on my fish and my shrimp and my reef tank. Uh, Reef Tank probably won't get an update this month. I'm just kind of behind on things. But I'd show you right now, except the lights aren't out and it's on a timer, um, a digital timer, and it, it's too hard to override and then set reset back. So, But, uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Um, and I appreciate all my subscribers. appreciate everyone that watches these videos and comments and that type of thing. 
Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, thanks for watching.